All right, this is a Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins 24 valve turbo diesel. Uh, I just want to get, show you guys a little walk around of this thing because it is certainly very quirky. Um, it's got a lot of nice Indiana uh, local stickers on it. Um, I don't blame the liberal media. That's one of the best ones. Um, demand the liberal media stop censoring. That's, that's a good one right there. God, guns, and guts. Let's keep all three. Hell yeah. Let's stand your ground on the Second Amendment. Uh, it's four by something, we don't know. And there was other stickers on it in the past. But hey, don't forget, Jesus is coming. You have to ask yourself, are you actually ready? So these are really important questions that uh, second gen owners you know, ask the general public. Um, another excellent question, or statement rather, is buy a gun and join the NRA today. Uh, that's a really, some really good words to live by right there. I really respect that. But yeah, look at this Cummins right here. Really nice straight body you know it's a cummins so you know it's definitely not a piece of crap um <laughs> and uh it's got like the nv3500 transmission so uh that's pretty cool that's the big deal for this truck that's why we're here uh because it has a manual and you can see the seats aren't all torn up um yeah she's got the manual right there dash isn't all cracked which is a big deal it only has one small crack right there um <laughs> this truck does have 156,000 miles on it um, and you can see it's got three pedals. All right, everyone. So right now we're in a uh, Dodge Ram 2500, 24 valve Cummins, and uh, she's a manual. Um, this thing is pretty cool. It seems like you live in second gear for the most part. Um, but uh, yeah, she's, she's pretty torquey. Uh, give her the beans right here. Boosted launch. Boosted launch. <laughs> Why are the windshield wipers Clutching in the third. Oh! Woo-wee! Windshield wipers are off. I don't know. Turn them off. Clutch in. Down to the second. Alright. <laughs> I haven't stalled it once. That's the big news on this. car driver out here. Go slow on a turn. open just like any other second gen opens right on up these things go up pretty quick anyway this is our 24 valve cummins we've already checked there's no blow by on this thing which is pretty cool we got our nice whole sit turbo we have two batteries on it can't be all as cool as our uh, ford f350 with twin cat batteries but um everything's pretty clean on this engine day firewalls all nice What's actually nice and kind of refreshing to see is that like, this entire cover hasn't been painted blue by some second gen owner. Um, <laughs> it's kind of nice to see all clean. All the belts look like they're on straight. Anyway, yeah, this thing's pretty, pretty cool. A little dirty, but um, it's not bad for an Indiana truck. I'll try to shut it here. We'll just go underneath it real quick and just take a look at it. It's, I think it's pretty much rust free. You guys can have a look at it right there. Yeah, she's a pretty clean truck for the most part. I'm pretty impressed. No large rust issues right around the tailgate there. Go around these bedsides, pretty decent. Just some large dents. 
the tailgate opens. It's a pretty nice big deal. And this is a long bed one too, so that's nice. Big eight foot bed. There's a big husky chest back there. All right, well anyway, this was uh, driving this Dodge Ram 2500, 24 valve Cummins. Um, it's a decent truck. It's kind of a piece of crap, to be honest. You might as well just be better off buying the automatic transmission. These get better gas mileage, but um, this one's still pretty much a turd. Um, if you really want to buy a nice version of one of these, you need to get one with pretty low mileage. You probably have to buy it from a nice dealership uh, or a really good private seller. Um, but I see the appeal. They're really torquey, uh, amazing towing, amazing fuel economy. If you can leave one, of course you should. Um, if you really need to truck overall, I'd recommend it. Um, but remember, don't believe the liberal media. Um, and uh, God, guns, guts, and let's keep all three. Because we need to demand that the liberal media stop censoring the news. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great night.